Hi everyone, today I want to do a book review and it's the Felix Scheinberger Urban Watercolor Sketching Book and it's a guide to draw painting and storytelling in colour so I'll just turn it around this way so you can see it in full. Um, I love this book and um, it's got a very distinct style to it and the reason I bought it was because I want to challenge myself to uh, be able to sketch in a very, um, I don't know, in a very kind of messy way sometimes and not be afraid of being judged or, you know, um, you'll see his style and you'll understand what I mean. So let's open the book and you get this on the first page. This might not be everyone's style, but I really love this type of thing as well just because it's super fun and although it's so messy and so quirky there is a definite style to this and this is what I really like and appreciate um, about Felix Scheinberger's um, style. He, he doesn't put much effort into making lines straight or having a very true representation. He draws things the way he sees them so that's um, what I think is fabulous. Here are um, a breakdown of here of the chapters and um, what he shares. So your own style, basic tools, tips and tricks, out and about, excursion in color theory, first attempts, intro, etc. Uh, we get a good glimpse into his um, sketchbooks. I love this girl here with the chicken or rooster. Um, yeah, I think, you know, I'd be quite happy if I um, sketch something out like this. But um, it's, um, it's um, <laughs> to everyone's taste, I guess. Um, I love his color play. There's a lot of white areas that he leaves which I quite like as well. Uh, this looks to me like St. Petersburg White Nights and it seems to be the palette, the original palette, which I have. They don't sell them anymore like this. Oh yes, yeah, there's here plastic Soviet watercolor box, Leningrad, so St. Petersburg in Russian. The history of um, paints and um, how they are um, put together etc. Then we have this lovely yellow and orange of camels and crocuses. Lovely little joy. So moving on there is red and purple so these are kind of um, divided into colors. Love 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 his style. So quirky it's so like modern. You know, you won't see this uh, very often and it's very distinct. And um, that's the other thing that I like. Food illustration as well. Okay, so let's have a little flip through. And just to give you a better idea of what you can see in this book. It's got loads of um, written um, paragraphs. So it's probably really informative. So that's good. I love his food illustrations. He's a nice artichoke. So it's very different to obviously botanical art, but I just love how he uses watercolor and um, how he keeps the white space and just the drawings to begin with are very beautiful as well. Um, so here is a little scene that he's done. I love the colors here, very balanced. So the blue, pinks and the um, oranges. So this lady is quite uh, quite fun. I like her. The little blonde. This type of thing as well. It's really beautiful. I think he's not afraid to um, show a great sense of humour in his illustrations and not be very serious about it. Um, you can see that obviously he can draw really beautiful and... Um, 
you know, straight lines and rep represent the buildings and everything. So he has definitely a skill. But then he goes into this sort of scribbly fun mode, which I absolutely adore. It just gives you the permission. Um, actually, someone, um, one of one of you, one of you, one of my viewers, left uh, a um, comment um, on one of the videos saying that my videos give them permission to just not. Uh, you know think about mistakes or whatever and just go with it in in terms of watercolor illustrations and I'm so happy you said that because it's exactly how I feel about um, Felix and his art it just gives you permission to even take it further and be you know not be afraid of creating something that's perhaps quite ugly but very interesting I mean you know there's plenty of interest there it my eye straight away goes here and it just analyzes and wants to look at it mm -hmm. but i love this type of thing i love his color use look at this beautiful green uh, granulation over here it's just stunning um love 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 this book couldn't say more good things about it i think for now i have bought pretty much all watercolor books um that I can think of um, so I probably won't be buying um, any more for a while because you know I've added quite a few lately to my collection but uh, it's been fun so here it, it seems like he's doing some sort of mixed media or um, some sort of collaging um, okay let's go further so here is a little bit more craziness me, myself and I, finding your own style. So here he talks about his style. Um, focus on substance, whatever is new and modern, now will still age. Substance never fades. Pretty good. I like that. I might add that to, the, um, to my art quotes. I love um, these illustrations. I love his... Um, character and figure illustrations they're very dramatic and really fun that color placement you know one cheek is larger than the other but who cares it's just it's fun to look at um at all of that okay so here is a little bit more about paper so he, he um shows you how different papers look with different um so for example here's archer smooth archer's cores um ingress paper english handmade watercolor paper schollerhammer cores gray and that's probably german fabriano hannemulle torchon so and then real papyrus so there's plenty of things to learn oh i love this type of um spread look at that all of the things the contents of my bag so aha uh -huh. it looks like schminke to me does it say anywhere portable watercolor box 14 half pans nope doesn't say what um watercolor it is hmm but yeah so this is um his art supply content I'm trying to skip through a few things so that I don't flip through every single thing. So yeah, if this is your type of art, I think you would really enjoy uh, his book. And look at this, working with colored paper. He's using some sort of old um, papers which already have been, you know, written on and whatever. And he just, or letters, and he he uh, shows you that you can do that you can do some collages and then draw on top really go wild with it absolutely love it oh yeah look at the special effects the salt effects now that's something i still want to do a video on um how beautiful salt looks with watercolor and what kind of effects you can get so that's still coming anyway absolutely love his book i mean look at this this looks to me like um, Daniel Smith Moon Glow or something. It could be that he just mixed it up himself, but it's very reminiscent of that. And let's see how this book finishes. 
Oh, I love that. It's just so artsy and so daring. And that is it. A little doggy right on the last page. Okay, so absolutely love this book. Couldn't say anything better than, than what I already have said. I think you got the idea of, of how I feel about the book. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you soon.